Hi, this is David Robbins with the Wakanda Technical Services team here in San Jose, California. I want to tell you how I used Auto Dispatch to solve a problem I had recently. So when a user modifies widgets on the page, the data source is updated automatically. But if you change the value of a widget using JavaScript, the data source is not updated. So the proper way to handle this problem is to update the data source bounder the widget and then call auto dispatch to synchronize the data source with the widgets on the page. So let's go into Wakanda Studio and this is my PTO application which I'm working on and I had an issue where if a user would enter the first day off I wanted to programmatically set the last day off and return to work date. So I'll show you my first attempt at solving this problem. What I would do is um, set a listener on, on the on change and I would update the values of the uh, text fields. So I'm using the jQuery change event the reason I'm using that is the um, Wakanda date picker w gave me a little trouble interfering with the um, Wakanda on change event. So I just set my own. And here I would update the values. And let's go look at how that worked. So I'm going to refresh my browser. and we'll try it again. So we log in again as uh, Bobby Bonds. He's going to create a new PTO request and select the first day off and you can see we set the last day off and return to work date. Everything looks good but you can see my data source does not seem to be updated and if I try to save then the server is rejecting it telling me you didn't set the last day off so this didn't work but let me show you how I solve this problem so now when a user sets the first day off instead of updating the text fields I would update the data source and then call auto dispatch and update the return to work date call auto dispatch what that would do is since the data source is updated calling auto dispatch would cause the data source to look at the updated values and synchronize with the widgets on the page so let's take a look at how it works now we log in it's Bobby Bonds and he's going to create a new PTO request. We select the first day off. And the last day off is set. Return to work date is set. You can see it looks like everything's OK and beautiful. It works. So that's the auto dispatch command. Use that whenever you programmatically update any widgets on your page and you want to synchronize the data source with them.